um, I want to say something to everyone in a spirit of humility, a spirit of meekness, and a spirit of Christ-like love. Outside of this building, there's chaos and calamity in the world. And there's so much hurt and distrust. And I have a lot of friends in this room of many different shades and colors that I've walked our life for the last 23 years with. Great men and women in the contemporary Christian community. And to all of us, I do not like that the world is controlling the narrative. It should be us controlling the narrative. Whether it's bad preachers, bad police, or bad politicians, we have the spirit of redemption when we speak. When we say something, we want to bring it together, not separate it. When police are killed, we need to say something. When black boys are killed, we need to say something. And when we don't say something, we're saying something. I beseech you, brothers, in a spirit of humility, at our concerts, in our churches, I beg of you, let's ask the people that we are accountable to stand in front of. Let's do like Nineveh and ask the people to pray with us for racial healing. Let's don't stay silent on it. So, Father God, where we're standing right now, Father God, I pray that our families will come together right now, white artists, black artists, Hispanic artists, wherever we are, we hold the torch of your name, Jesus. And, Father, forgive us when we're silent. Forgive us when we're afraid. Forgive us when we don't even know what to say. But if my people who are called by my name would humble ourselves and pray, and seek your face, you will forgive our sins, and you will heal our incredible land. In the name of the only Savior, Jesus Christ, amen.